here. With uh, Jerry and Julius stepping up lately, how does that affect Archie's role in your game plan? Well, I, Archie was struggling a little bit, and I didn't start him in the second half. But, you know, again, I'm trying to get Archie to, to zone in on his team, what he's got to do for his team, and get out of how he's playing because then you can't make a shot. You're afraid to make a play because you're afraid you are going to screw up. Versus I'm playing for the team. I know what the team needs me to do. They need me to drive. I need to come to jump stops for the team so I don't jump, jump <coughs> over. If I miss some shots, it's okay. They need me to be aggressive and score. But if you're thinking about how you look, how it makes you look, it's hard. And, and again, I, that, this is, we're teaching life skills. Last night we had Derek Anderson come in and speak to the team for a few minutes. Um, and we went over the book we're reading right now, a couple chapters of that book. But then I read Derek's book last night, the new book he has out that's coming out. And I'm going to tell you what, unbelievable. So at shoot around today, I was reading portions of his book to my team, which are just life skills, life lessons. And that's what this team needs more than anything else. Um, and he, his story is a great story. Um, God Never Blinks is the book that I told you I'd tell you about. And it's, it's not it's spiritual, but it's not spiritual like the whole thing is spiritual. It's 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 life it's lessons, fifty lessons. John, just following up on back here on Archie, you had to find offense with him on the bench for extended periods and foul trouble. Could that pay dividends down the road? We were fine without him. It's good for him to see it too. But he'll be fine. He works hard. He's the first one in, the last one out, and he comes at night and he wants to do well. Putting way too much pressure on him because he's worried about how he's playing. But it, you know, it's this is a long, he's 18 years old. You're supposed to do some of this stuff. I think most people like to see pretty plays like Alex is behind the back pass and Willie lays it in. But, but from your point of view, a gritty, tough kind of game. How appealing is that? I just don't want to get anybody hurt. That was my whole thing the whole game. You know the whole game. If you're listening to me, I'm saying don't foul. Do not foul. Don't foul. So if they're listening to me, they're not fouling. Now, when I see this physical play, and it's, you know, I mentioned this a couple weeks ago, I thought it was getting better. But there's, you, you know, if a hand goes on a guy or a body check or a hip versus the press, like you're being pressed and a guy hips you, those should all be fouls. And I don't care. They should all be fouls. But they're not, and that's okay. So you play through it and you figure out how to play. If a guy body checks you with his chest, you drive it, he goes like that, that's a foul. That's just as bad as that. And I mean, that's, I've been saying it, and maybe I say I'm maybe being a little self-serving. I always have a young team that they're trying to beat up. But if I had a big team and a physical team, I don't know, maybe I'd say, I'll oh, let them fly. What are you talking about, big baby? <laughs>